Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Lambis Company. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -ba. Alrighty, so we're back and we're going to continue our quest to eventually beat this entire game. Luckily it's basically an episodic thing, so uh, me taking a while is uh, not putting me as far behind as you might think. But with that being said, we are coming back during an event, of which I'm definitely not going to be able to catch the real thing in time. So, I figured out you can actually fight a boss from this event at the end of a mirror dungeon, which you can, which I'm going to show you right now. Hello! Like I said in the intro, probably if i remember to say the right thing we are going to be doing the um event bad guy big boss whatever because chances are i'm not going to make it to the event in time so may as well see what it's all about through the dungeon also uh we kind of have a stacked run going right now with n corp uh bleed damage bleed bleed blunt survival bleed <laughs> Zippo lighter, always nice. Uh, these are two dead. I mean, homeward is just good. Special contract is just good. Disc fragment, especially with Zippo lighter, just really, really solid. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. okay, we're going up against the event boss. I don't know what to expect, but I'm expecting a lot of bleed. Okay, I can say I was not expecting bamboo headed Kim. That, uh, that for some reason actually was not something I expected. Um, are we gonna yield their bones? I think we're gonna we're gonna yield their bones, boys. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. All right, well, open up the same way that you wanna always open up against bosses. Look for their biggest move and debuff that. Uh, probably gonna be this one. Unfortunately, um, she does have plus one speed. So, a little bit unfortunate there. So, let's see. What's going for what? You're going for Heathcliff, so I'm going to try and counter that. You're going for Rodeon, so I'm going to try and counter that. Let's see. You're going to get free damage. Not a lot we can actually do about that one. Okay. What about this? You're also going for Rodeon. Oh, well, that's just kind of unfair, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Then we're going to debuff you, and then I'm going to take the 50-50 to try and get some of our goodies back, and then we have so much lust that I'm just going to go for raw damage. So, let's here first, then here, then here. Actually, I want you to go first. Who knows, with how much bleed we're gonna be inflicting, this probably won't even be that hard of a fight. I mean, it's only bamboo-hatted Kim who seemingly is distorted. What's the big deal? <laughs> Get a little bit of attack power up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and she's uh, resistant to blunt. Oh, oh, nice. Uh. Okay, we're dealing extra damage. Slay. <laughs> That's pretty sweet animation though. Gotta gotta admit, gotta admit. The chains of others. Uh. Hope you didn't need that attack. Okay, lifetime stew. We're gonna apply a tiny bit of burn. To a real tiny bit of burn. Aha! We got to use this move for free! Really, you're weak to slashing. I wouldn't have expected that, considering you're kind of like the slash master, but okay, fine, fair enough. Um, let's see. Uh, this is going for more allies than it is enemies, so let's try that again. Uh, that's only going for allies, okay. Great, awesome, amazing, okay. How about... 
right here. You actually have sanity, really. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't looked at your abilities yet. Uh, draw the sword, gain poise, inflict a ton of bleed, yep. Gain poise, inflict bleed, gain damage up, inflict bleed and paralysis twice. Gain poise, gain poise and poise count, inflict bleed, gain slash damage up, and make us take more slash damage. Gain poise, gain poison poise count, inflict bleed, gain slash damage up, make us take more slash, inflict bleed and paralysis, but if you get heads, get plus three count. And then on evade, gain four poise, okay? Uh, we don't know any of your passives yet. If you are panicking, you gain damage up and defense level down. Interesting. Okay, so you, you quite literally go into a frenzy. Okay, I understand. Um, Let's see. Is any... Actually, you're only at one speed because of chains. We can probably clash with you, no problem, then. Uh, and we are actually going to get Whistles. Let's really hope Whistles does not go on Sinclair, because that would not be great. And then... Yeah, and then we just hold off, I think. Okay. Ah, you didn't need that, did you? This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> well, so far we've done more damage than the more damage to ourselves than the boss has. Great, awesome. Always one of the potential downsides of using Encorp Sinclair. Just gotta roll with the punches, though. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Okay, speaking of cookie crumbling, two of our people are dead. Uh, well, that's a jolly bad show, isn't it? Okay. Well, oh, you have a counter dose, too. Gain Growing Resentment. When this unit has a relevant buff, gain Growing Resentment equal to damage taken. Right. Okay. Well... Let's just see what we can do then. Roshanti! Okay, favored. That's good enough. Counter dice is going for us. Let's see. Faust can... Okay. Um, ego time. And then Sinclair, what's going for you? This one. Okay. Um... Actually, you know what? Yeah. No. Yeah. It'll probably be fine. See, it was fine. Ouch. Actually, that was Yielder Flesh. <laughs> uh, didn't realize that one. Emotional transmitter. Uh. Hey, she staggered. Oh my! Where did all that damage come from? Uh, get wrecked? <laughs> Almost 600 damage from a stagger? What? <laughs> hey, that pretty much pays out for us killing two of our own people. Uh, do we have kill power? Yeah, I trust you. Go ahead, get the kill. Uh, at the very least, get a ton of bleed, please. Oh, wait, we, we're already maxed on bleed. <laughs> uh, that works out quite nicely, doesn't it? Uh. Got her. Kind of. Seems like she more forfeited. Well, that's the closest we're going to see to that event, because I'm definitely not making it in time. But, hey, that's still pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about being late to these events if I actually just caught up. Exhilarating, I know. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I mentioned something, and that was, uh, you know, the whole me catching up thing. Which is pretty funny, thinking about it in hindsight, because... 
that's what I'm doing right now. That That's the whole point of this episode is to catch up. So pretty funny to hear that. So here's a little bit of a uh, catch up. This is still our team. Honestly, I want to use Sun Shower Heathcliff, but it's so bad. Like, I've really been trying to make him work, but he's just so bad. Like, ugh, I don't know. He's just, he's not good. He's not good. <laughs> I've, I've really tried. Like, I've been trying to make this guy work, and I gotta tell you, I'm doing something wrong, because it just, it he doesn't. So, I swap back to old reliable base Heathcliff. I know, insane. I actually prefer his regular instead of a three-star. Imagine that. Technically, we could uh, up-tie him, but I don't have the resources for that right now, so we'll think about it. However did up tie his ego so it's a little bit better does more damage uh we get a little bit of attack power out of it overall pretty good also i have a sneaking suspicion that uh mr stone man here with regret is actually gonna be a ridiculously good blunt damage character so we're gonna give it a try um maybe not in this episode we'll see depends how it goes he is still level 30 gotta level him up but could be pretty good. And then the reason that uh, I can't remember her name right now, but Tupatos Mythos, you know, the Odyssey had a purpose. Can't Otis, Otis. Yeah, of course, I remember her name. She's level 40 because I was trying to do the event with her. And I got to tell you, uh, sure wish I had the seventh bullet. I think the closest I got was four away. But oh well. Twas not to be, I'm afraid. So with that being said, let us continue from where we left off. And yes, we are all the way back at the beach episode. After a long, long journey through a tunnel, we finally arrived at a place called the Great Lake. Taking in the view of the vast and turquoise waters, the sinners began excitedly chattering about what they want to do at the beach. But are we really on vacation? It's been about two weeks since we took care of the job at K-Corp. That's semi-accurate. And the immense dullness of traveling through a nest by car was just starting to sink in. Pretty sure I saw a road that looked exactly like the one 30 minutes ago. <laughs> The way roads are built in the nests and back streets is rather dissimilar. If we were navigating the back streets, we would have been able to find a shortcut through the alleyways and corners. But navigating a nest in an automobile means driving through this absolutely abominable traffic congestion. I guess that's why people with cash to spare spend it on W Corp's warp trains and such. <clears throat> Ooh, voice is gonna be a little off again. It's been like, uh. I don't know, like three months since I last played? <laughs> uh, that's funny that she's uh, not quite sure about it, considering I'm pretty sure one of her, like, most popular identities is the freaking W Corp one. The warp trains, they are... The bus fell silent, as though everyone seemed to simultaneously recall the warp train they saw in the mirror worlds. Uh, I... I think I prefer riding the bus. D'accord. Why don't we all take a nice little nap like Heath? I'm bored to death just staring out the window. So we spent days upon days of boredom on the bus, making very little progress. 
toward a tunnel that seemed to lead somewhere. We're almost there. The road will free up once we exit this tunnel. Just as Faust said, the traffic jam appeared to visibly improve, allowing us to make actual progress. That's good. I can't see much yet, but I'm glad we're almost there. Speaking of which, our destination was... Yes, indeed. Once again, we were being blindly led along by our guide to who knows where. Don't you think it's about time he started telling us where we're going? Dante is asking where our destination is. I was asking if he could start telling us where we're headed before we leave, but I thought better of it. Oh boy. <coughs> Gotta get the voice ready for this one. Our current destination is... Ah, our final destination is a Lobotomy Corp branch located at U Corp. Who was that? Is she? You up? You spooked me. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure why Ishmael suddenly jolted, but I decided to carry on with our conversation for now. Wait, so by our final destination, you mean... We are currently headed to a temporary stop. Just as Virgili Virgilius, Virgililius finished his sentence, the bus emerged from the lengthy tunnel. <gasps> That's... I looked to the window, which had suddenly turned bright. Oh, God. And the cleanest sandy beach and the most the most turquoise blue ocean I had ever seen graced my eyes. <laughs> Do I behold the great lake yonder? With Don's enthusiast ah, enthusiastic exclamation, sinners began waking up from their naps one by one. Oh. Dude, Gregor is like <laughs> He's a little bit too excited <laughs> Oh my god Hey Good old Greggy You had uh, better keep it in your pants Okay Oh, that's not a sight I've seen in a long time <clears throat> Nope, that's definitely not right Oh well Oh, Greg, darling. You've been here before. I've only ever heard of this place. Never been myself. The sinners each began excitedly chattering about the sea. That's right it is. And I bet you I know who's coming after you, too. It's Stoneface McGee. Wait, it can't be my turn already. Except for one, that is. I... No, we're... We're still not ready for this. Ishmael, you good? You know, it's real unfortunate that you're upset, but uh, you hear this happy music? Get over it. No, uh, give me a moment. I, I need some time to think. While I was still worried about Ishmael's sudden gloominess, I had faith that she would be okay. She was always on top of things, after all. Besides, my attention was drawn to the bubbling enthusiasm that seemed to have possessed the sinners. So, 
So we are journeying toward the Great Lake? I've only heard of the Great Lake, but never saw it myself. So this is what it looks like, huh? Perhaps our trying journey shall finally be rewarded with a seaside picnic! I suppose spending a nice vacation here can be a fun experience. Oh, my voices are so off. Oh well. If we were permitted to rest, I wish to lie upon the summery sand and gaze up at the skies. I could use some nice tanning on a long beach. Beach Volleyball! <laughs> oh no! I wish to try the game of beach volleyball! With everyone, that is! <laughs> Sounds like the crack! <laughs> oh, this is great. This is good so far. I'm loving this. The sinners were all eagerly chatting about things they wanted to do. It was nice to see them excited for once. But. Hey, guide bud, are we really stopping at the beach? Everyone seemed to be conveniently forgetting the fact that Virgilius never mentioned if we were stopping at the beach. What do you think? Oh boy. How long? I don't want it to sound too tiffrithy. Actually, no, this is. Ah! No, no, this is actually kind of fine. Um, a little tiffrithy, but oh well, whatever. Anytime I go high pitched, I'm gonna think it's tiffrith, so whatever. Can I hitch wheels in the ditch? The formerly on-track bus suddenly swerved, and everyone was thrown around the bus, as is often the case, because no one uses a seatbelt. <laughs> what treachery is this? An ambush? <laughs> no, this is our stop. The sinners got to their feet one by one, groaning with pain. What the? What in the name of the wings? Only the despairing cries of sinners echoed in the dark and damp view outside the windows. Wow, I got 40 bits for that! 11 levels, huh? Mud... Oh. Oh. Maybe I will still get to take part in this event after all. Of course. Our destination was some squelchy, green, and fetid mud flat. Though I can see the blue sea in the distance, it feels as far away as a dream, buried in mountains of trash from who knows where. What could we possibly be here for? It could be to fight crabs, could it? This music is, like, so unfitting. <laughs> you, can, you know what, though? I kind of love it. I do kind of like this music. Like, <laughs> it's so unfitting that I'm like, ooh. This cannot be. How aren't we to enjoy our vacaciones at a locale such as this? Looks like the beach is fake. This may come as a surprise to you, Don, but Virgilius never mentioned that we're here on a vacation. Well, it is rather quaint. MB! Probably not bothered. Oh, what was the point of showing us that beautiful beach earlier then? 
그러게요. 차라리 모르고 왔으면 기대도 안 했을 텐데. Right. I wish I never even saw the beach. Then I would be so disappointed. 아니, 저기 바로 그 앞에 아까 보았던 모래사장이 있지 않을까? I think it's fake. Or it's U-Corp. It's like a technology in U-Corp. Ooh, we got beach technology. Park, right thither is the Afrocene beach. Wherefore, aren't we not journeying in that direction? Its air appears pristine. Its sky's clear. Because that's not our destination. This cannot be. <laughs> oh no, she fainted. The sinner's face just grew dark with disappointment. No, Dawn! And like, just imagine holding like a Dawn that's like as big as your palm and just. No! <laughs> Can't say that I wasn't a little excited to have some proper beach time. After all, who knows how good they all would have looked in beach attire. Huh? Anyway, I had a feeling this was going to happen. So, so where is this exactly? It'd be in everyone's interest to focus on what's next. This is... Dude, I can't even hear them over the music. <laughs> the music is so, like, overpowering to their voices. <laughs> District 21. Backstreets of U Corp. Uh, we're really not ready for this. Yes. So that's why there hasn't been any congestion since the tunnel? Because we're not in a nest? That depends. <laughs> that depends on the nest in their back streets. So such generalizations are not encouraged. That seems to be the case this time, however. It's a U-Corp technology. I'm calling it now. It's a U-Corp technology. They go inside because they got the money. It's a U-Corp technology. They swim all day. There's nothing to see. U-Corp technology. Anyway. I don't know what possessed me to do that, but I wanted to. Is that a private beach over there? The water, its colors are very different from this side's. I see. A boundary, as though hewn by a blade. Those are telltale signs of the place's nature. Indeed, this is... The Great Lake. That's just how it has always been. You can assume that a well-maintained vacation spot like that is usually nest territory. My explanations keep getting hijacked. Oh, woe is you! Oh, no! Faust's main time to shine! Oh, my... Here, let me play the world's smallest violin for you. Oh, I just... Gosh darn, I feel so bad that... That... <laughs> big brain... Giga brain Faust isn't able to talk. Oh, no, poor baby. Does this place count as the back streets when it's so open? <sighs> the definition of back streets isn't limited to literal streets between buildings. It refers to all territories within districts not embraced by the nests. You know what I should do? 
I, I made a I made a comment <laughs> about this in the Discord a couple of times. Which you should totally join, by the way. And basically, I mentioned that if fat fast if fat was end corp fat, you know, the gripper, I would like her character so much more. So <laughs> what if just after this episode and on I voiced her as just like insane. Like here, I'll do I'll do one line just to give you an example. Next time she talks. Right. <laughs> Look at all this minging rubbish. The place is in shambles. I'd be gobsmacked if it weren't the back streets. <laughs> Oh no, she's picking up trash. Oh, behold, hither is a rather useful. Uh... What? Finish your sentence. It moved. What? <laughs> this radio. It moved! Do the radios of District 21 scamper about? <laughs> Where? What are you on about? Where? At Heathcliff's cry, everyone turned towards the pi towards a certain pile of trash. Oh, excuse me, Faust. Uh, we're looking for a pile of trash. <laughs> and there it was. All of a sudden, a crab. Oh my god, crab! What you got? Gwah! Uh, heads hit twice, inflict three rupture. Shell tackle! On hit, inflict plus two rupture and slash fragility, okay? Which is funny, considering you have one slash move. Uh, inflict rupture three times, inflict plus five rupture. When attacked while this unit has shield HP, deal four slash de- oh. Oh, that's why you inflict slash fragility. Oh. You have... Ah. Okay. Uh, a crab eat crab world. Uh-oh. By the way, this definitely looks like the uh, League of Legends crab. Is that just me? Maybe it's the eyes. At less than 70% HP, targets another ally with the least current HP. When attacking an ally, heals HP by the damage dealt. When defeating an ally, heals HP by double the amount of damage dealt. Uh huh. Uh, rupture, rupture. Interestingly, this is. Oh, Pierce Fragility. Okay. Uh, when attacked, while this unit has shield HP, deal 4 Pierce damage. Okay, so basically the same but with Pierce. So I'm gonna imagine this one is the same but with Blunt. You're right about that. And this deals blunt too? Yep. Okay. Well, good to know. Is this a... Oh, okay. It's an automatic battle. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Wow. That is going to deal a ton of damage. Goodness. Uh, let's gain a little bit of power, shall we? Oh. Not bad if I do say so myself. A little bit of paralysis for you. Alright, let's get some resonance. Oh, oh, big resonance. Uh. Okay, get rid of those shields. Gun him down. Stagger? I'll take that. I take a bite. Uh. <laughs> Say good. Nine. Uh. It's just that easy. Wait, you're still alive? Get him. Get him, girls. Alright, what's up? Same deal? Uh, blunt. Okay, yeah. Same deal. Alright. Then I'm gonna get triple green. Okay. Uh, double sloth. Triple green? 
Yeah, why not? That's a ton of damage. A lot of re lot of uh, resonance. Oh. Okay. Well, unfortunate rolls. But we're gonna get a crit this time. Watch this. Watch this crit. You ready for this? <clears throat> it's, it's gonna happen next turn. I, you thought I meant this turn? That's crazy. Okay. Defense power down. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Still don't care. Won't care. Eat him. Gobble them up. Uh. Okay, no heads roll. That is unfortunate. No head. Uh, what is this? Wait, this is a... Wait, what? I don't seem to recall you having this. Wait a minute. Did they always have this? Am I losing my mind? Maybe I just didn't realize that it was an attack weight too. Okay, well... Uh, double orange, double blue. Doesn't matter what we do here. Let's go orange into blue into. We didn't take any damage. Get wrecked. Get him, girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this freaking Faust identity is like. <laughs> it's so satisfying to watch. It might not have the same personality as Encore, but it is so much fun to watch. Now, if we could just combine both. From mountainous refuse, outcrawled crustacean creatures covered in all sorts of scrap. According to Ishmael, they're pretty infamous in the back streets of Ucorp. Speaking of which, I wonder what's going on with her. She's been in the doldrums all day. So what are these... Bug, crab, things. Hey now, why are you looking at me for? What makes you think I'd know? I wasn't even gawking at you. You're paranoid, that's what. <laughs> Can't even talk about bugs around this guy. <laughs> They're trash crabs. They're what? Ishmael interjected all of a sudden. <sighs> trash crabs. They collect trash or scrap like that on their shells and use them as their homes and weapons. They're a tiresome lot. They ambush people working by the waters, attack those wandering in the area, and their numbers grow by the day. They're just one of the innumerable small fries of the Great Lake. What's more important and more treacherous is... Ishmael? I was about to check in with Ishmael, as I probably shouldn't let this go on for any longer, but... I like you. I like you. Your appearance is... Nice. Oh, God. Do we give her a meme voice or do we give her an actual voice? What do we think? How do we feel? Hey, guys. Already hard at work, huh? A couple of people in work overall seem to be approaching from a distance. Ika, Ika. Wait! Wait a minute! Wait, no way! Oh my god, there's no way! Wait a minute! You're the freaking discard people who got stuck on the warp train! Aren't you literally called Molar Office? Oh my god! 
You actually got revived! Light spoilers, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, crap. I need to get rid of this. Sorry. Oh, my God. I can't believe you guys are here. That is crazy. Dude, the moment... Okay, well, first of all, this weapon, right? Ah, come on. That's a pretty distinct weapon. But then the name Mika. Really? That's crazy. It's so, I guess, nice to see you. Hey, where's your boss? <laughs> where's your boss at? The, uh, you know, the, go, go, you know, the, the blonde one who drinks. That was a drinking sound. Get your mind out of the gutter. That was a drinking sound. Mika, Mika, they're our valued customers. Watch your manners. Uh, ah. <clears throat> you know, I guess we're doing that. Okay, I get. No, 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 that's too different. Okay, I guess. So, no. <laughs> oh no. Dude, I saw R and T. <laughs> I don't know why. I just imagined Ryoshu just completely casually. Like, she turns around completely deadpan and she goes, What are those retards? <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, but that's the first thing that came into mind when I saw R and T. That's so stupid. Oh my god, just imagine that. that was... <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Ryoshi, you're so rude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think she's calling them rags and tags. Rain. I don't think that's a name I recognize. Mika, I do seem to recall Mika. You had pigtails, didn't you? I could have sworn. Oh, maybe I'm just losing it. Maybe it's not them. But I think it is. I really do think it is. I think it's uh, the people who are stuck in the warp train. Rain? They're calling us ragtags. Do I really have to watch my manners? Shh, shh. Oi! <laughs> They could be enemies. You two, identify yourselves! Have you not been informed about us at all? Uh, to be fair, we do have the power of foresight, but uh, you seem to be gripping your blade a little bit tight there. No, not at all. That's why I'm suspicious of you two, coming up with seemingly plausible yet unverifiable identities. Like spies. I'm sorry, uh, wouldn't real spies come up with a more structured approach? Alright, I'm gonna do end court boss now. Indeed! Otis, they are our cooperators who will be assisting us this time. Then, speak sooner next time. Pleased to meet you, Mika, Rain. We are LCB, also known as the Limbus Company Bus Department. <laughs> so yeah, that would be her voice. Uh, bus, right. Um, that's what that person said, too. You guys are the bus blokes. I was informed that the LCC before team was here first. By that person, do you mean? Oh, Sorry, let me check the business card again. LCC B 
Right, uh, all accounted for. Now that we're clear, why don't we continue this conversation back at the shop? Let's take a look at that bus, too. This is an awkward place to talk, you know? We're their customers? Okay. Care to tell us what we're doing here? Oh, that's where the light spoilers come from in the previous one. Oh, pardon me. Man, what a spoiler. We're going to be able to tread on water. Oh, golly gee. Sibir, come on. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> like, oh man, it's a big deal. No, it's not. Oh, but whoop de doo We know, like, ugh. You, you look at the freaking splash art of this whole chapter. The next chapter. It's all about water. Of course we're going to be able to tread on water. Our destination, U-Corp, is a nest composed of various nautical structures. Therefore, Mephistilis in its current form cannot reach there. I would, uh, I would iron out the, uh, Gripper Faust voice if that's what you guys decide I should do. And the Great Lakes environs are unpredictable. They're going to need a ship that can withstand such capriciousness. That's right, which is why we sought out a contract with an adequate shop to modify the bus. Uh, adequate, you say? Let's go in. Um, did our last staff dinner really hit the budget that hard? I thought we were allowed to eat as much as we wanted. Like Rodya said, looking at the somewhat dilapidated shop made me curious about the company's finances. It is Elcorp. They kind of... Went up in smoke. Oh, oh, man. And nobody made light of that situation. Oh, yeah. Anyway, but nothing good could ever come out of this conversation, so I decided to table the thought. Rain, I'm going to take a look at this bus, so why didn't you get them to reset? I mean, entertain the guests. Arasu. Okay. The sinners were led into what appeared to be a workshop packed with tools and various mechanical apparatus. Hmm. It appears to me that this workshop is capable of making more sophisticated modifications than it initially appeared. Uh, you recognize these? During the war, it was of utmost importance to have a general understanding of arms and gear workshops. Uh -huh. This awkward conversation was cut short by a sudden and deafening noise. What's that sound? <laughs> that was Mephistilis' scream! Or the alarm, rather. I'm sorry, I, I think I did something wrong. Are those stomping noises also you, Mika? Look, outside! 
They appear to be of the same species as the one we encountered earlier. They do look pretty similar. They are not pretty similar. They are indeed of the same species. Everyone outside! No! This is like really intense. Outside. <laughs> A giant enemy crab. <laughs> With a massive shipping container on its back. Loomed over us. How about... What if I just did... Uh, what if I just did that? What if I just made this a thumbnail? How do we feel about that? Well, at least for a brief moment. We were soon overwhelmed by the sound of heavy metal scraping against the floor. Then, spread out. Where do we have to get cracking this time? Just as we were all collectively losing our minds. It's Noggin, of course. There's the boss in it. Oh boy, this this is Blondie. A dark figure leapt down from somewhere onto the creature's head. Hey, that's the thing. That's the thing from the identity. Sit still. Quit struggling. A blinding light and a deafening explosion assault the crab shell. It, is it fleeing? A figure leaped gracefully from the back of the fleeing creature and slowly approached us. She squelched over the depressing mud flat in her swim fins and stood before us, a colossal harpoon resting on her shoulder. It is! Oh my god, and you gave her this outfit? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No wonder everyone lost their mind! <laughs> Oh, God. Everyone loses their mind about Ishmael in this outfit? Nobody talks about her? Really? So people are more into redheads than they are blondes, huh? That's good to know. Right. So you lot are the best people that fella mentioned? After some time passed. Olga, she got to me. Tell me she got to get it out. Olga, yeah, it is them. Oh my god, that is crazy. <sighs> but that also raises so many questions. So many questions. <sighs> it raises a question of, are we going to be seeing a lot of people from the past? Or I guess the now? The city? The answer is yes, because we already know bamboo-headed Kim is around. But still, are we going to see... <sighs> Here's a big question. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I know what one of the final chapters of this game is going to be. We're getting branches. The golden bows are branches of a golden tree. Ugh. Think, okay. When you look at the main menu... When you look at the floor, invitation menu, whatever of Ruina. What do you see behind all the names? It's a massive tree. We're collecting tree branches or roots. We'll, we'll call them roots. We're collecting roots. Golden roots infused with light. 
Does that ring a bell? Is it... Uh, I don't know. Are we going to collect? Actually, wait a minute. How many floors are there? In, uh... In Runa? There's ten floors, isn't there? <sighs> We're collecting a tree branch for every floor... And then the extra two branches are gonna be for Roland and Angela, aren't they? It's gonna be something like that. Oh my, dude. I like to think I'm pretty good at predictions. Something tells me this might be a spot-on prediction. We'll see. Three years down the line when we're finally at that point we'll see but uh something tells me that's where this is all gonna go it's gonna wrap back around we're gonna do a tree something about the roots with all of the people and then roland and angela are gonna be the final obstacle and then blah 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 whatever you know oh Allow me to formally introduce them with Olga this time. They are from the Molar Boatworks, here to help us with modifications for Mephistilis. You cut your hair! Why? Why would you do that? I guess it would fit in your helmet more. But why? Why would you do that? Also, I see uh, she still has as much personality as she once had. Whoa. We're getting a whole intro and everything? Color me flattered. There's still our dear customers. We should watch her. Oh, Oh, come on. I didn't do nothing wrong, did I? Bugger, I didn't even do anything yet. <sighs> yet, being the key word here. Our business just opened, so there's nothing wrong with being a little careful. I'd imagine the sudden switch in your career path couldn't have been easy. Was it manageable? Olga, the grade 5 fixer. Well... Sir? What? You're sniffing her! Which test has I'll take it to rise to become a grade five fixer? A workshop exam and trust association, indeed. Mm. <laughs> Fine. Yes, I understand. I apologize, Olga. Soon there will be peace and quiet. Red gaze. Uh, greetings? I guess. Blimey, it's been so long since I had to be so polite. Well, that's polite enough. 
책으로부터 하나 둘씩 돌아왔던 모양이던데. Hmm. Wow, we're actually bringing that up, huh? It seems that people have been returning one by one from the books since the incident at the library. 어떻습니까, 당신들? How was it for you? 우리도 뭐 다르지는 않죠. 어, 나 죽었나? 싶었더니 갑자기 눈을 떠보니 이 근처에서 봅니까? Same story here. One moment I was like, huh? Am I dead? And next, I'm suddenly waking up somewhere around here. 미카도 레인도 없었고 당장 배는 고프니까 뭐라도 먹어야겠다 싶어서. No Mika, no rain, stomach hankering. Thought I should grab myself a nosh, so. Uh, um... And uh, how'd it go again? 크레페가 튀어나와서 주변에 있는 걸 주워 무기를 만든 다음에. 산산 조각을 내고 구워 먹었다고 하셨죠. The trash crab appeared. You fashioned a few things around you into a weapon, smashed its head in, turned it into a barbecue. Bob's your uncle. 맞아. 지랄 맞게 마덕기는 했지만. And Fanny's your aunt. Aunt tasted like though. 그러다가 개에 붙은 태품으로 고철 바꿔 먹기를 시작했고. Then you started selling scrap metal from the back of those crabs. <웃음> Okay, Lane. 네가 설명하는 게 낫겠다. How about I leave the storytelling to you, yeah? 음, <웃음> 저 올가라는 사람은 뭔가 대충 대충 스타일인 것 같네. That Olga lady's got a pretty flippant personality, huh? Yeah, Radia. Like someone else I know. 어머? 누굴 말하는지 모르겠네. <웃음> I have no idea who you're talking about. 엄마? 이건 또 뭐래? Moritomi Uitinga. Oh, what's this? That's a prosthetic head, isn't it? Nunin, Chaku Kroshimon, Yaki Gakunaja. Haha, because we ride a train, bus, thing, whatever. Exists, we'll be here all day if you keep derailing. Araso, Aratago. Okay, I got. <clears throat> I gotcha, I gotcha. The woman they called Olga fell back clicking her tongue and a man they called rain came forward bringing us up to speed he was a fixer working alongside olga and mika until they were all sucked into the library getting wrapped up in these things called receptions and just when he thought he was a goner he suddenly came to began wandering and found olga they began collecting scrap metal together when it, with Mika joining along the way and ended up running a workshop almost like they used to run the office back in the old days. Hmm. I just want to point out, my prediction came before they were talking about the library and books and receptions and all that, so now I feel like I'm validated. Hmm. So there wasn't any particular order in which they were returned from the book. <laughs> the patterns have yet to reveal themselves to me. Regilius muttered something to himself, looking at first. Who stood near him? Who uh, nodded silently. Yeah, of course, because she just knows everything. She's so smart. Ah, man, she's such a good character. Ah, I love characters who know everything and also do not give an explanation for anything. Shut up, Ishmael. We're having a good time. I knew that there was something between the two of them. But it was always about something uh, apophrical that I couldn't even begin to understand. Besides, I was starting to get worried about <laughs> about that Ishmael, who was growing increasingly distraught. It was about time I talked to her about her sudden change. I Ishmael, so you've been here before? It looked like you recognized those crabs from earlier. But there's something there. Yes. Is that a problem? Huh? No, not, not really. I'm 
just wondering how they taste. And it sounded like people eat those crabs. I can see what I can see plain as day what you're trying to do with that inane question, but I'll entertain it anyway. Yes, I've had it more than a few times as crab chowder. It was a pretty digestible flavor. Once I got past the vomit traveling back up my esophagus. Does that answer your question? Uh, yeah. Th thanks? Yeah. Mm, I didn't think that was the best question I could have come up with, but her reception was much colder than I'd expected. So, that thing is edible, huh? Ugh. It almost looks like an abnormality or distortion. No, I don't think that's an abnormality or a distortion. I think it's a crab! Really? Then... Since Dante can distinguish between an abnormality and a distortion, they were able to tell without me explaining. They are living organisms, mutants, if you will. Theoretically speaking, there shouldn't be any problem with ingesting them. Grandmother used to collect mutated animals too. I've never seen anything like this one though. What a priceless experience. Yep, so they're pretty much our daily grub. The woman they called Mika was walking over from inside the boat workshop, an inscrutable look on her face. Mika! So how much do we got to work on her? You know, there's a thing that my father, who worked in a workplace, used to say. The whole shebang. What, all the way down to the engines or something like that? No, I don't need to go that No, not that far. I won't dare go tinkering with that thing either. I saw the internals of the bus, and it's on a whole other level of complexity. But yeah, pretty much everything else has to be changed. Um, no flotation device, no propellers, no steering gear, nothing. So, what do we do now? This was to be expected. Please present us with a solution. <laughs> Did the manager say something? Or do they just TikTok sometimes? <sighs> well, anyway... We do have a plan to fix it, but what we lack are the parts. Parts for the bus? What, do you need us to collect scrap or something? <laughs> yep, exactly. And from what I've seen so far, I'm certain you and your company are cut out for the job. With that, Mika pointed away. Toward where the trash crabs were. 
필품을 모을 수 있을 겁니다. Uh, defeat the trash crabs and you should be able to collect the scrap they're carrying. <laughs> How many do we need to kill? Um, uh, a lot? <sighs> <laughs> of course. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Joke. <laughs> Precisely. Ebon Kyongijeso. Noinen Bosser Kajual Pupumul Muaumian Denda. Hungum Gajer Chajaun Lopoda. Shiko Kampuran Yizi. Your job at this stop is to collect parts to modify the bus. It's a far simpler and easier job than retrieving a golden bow. Chakram. Nanan. Now then, while I converse with our cooperators, everyone to the beach. That is no beach! Yes, it is. Even that mud flat is a part of the Great Lake, also known as the sea. What, are you getting PTSD or something? <laughs> oh, no. Look, I know I'm being mean in this episode, but it makes me feel better. What do we got? Time to salvage scrap and prepare the bus for both hell and high water. Now, what is this? I've never seen this icon before. Repeatable? Wait, 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 wait a minute. This takes an actual energy thing? Hey, a guaranteed 10 summon. No, guaranteed three star summon. Oh, how very fancy. I'll take that. You, yeah. Hey, and we also get one of our things. By the way, I'm absolutely going to be using this when uh, when we get it. But, that's it. how many do we have? <laughs> Dude, I have so many free summons just ready to go. However, definitely going to be holding on to them for a, uh, you could say a certain, hang on, a certain someone or certain some people that will eventually come back around anyway. We finally collected enough scrap for them to start working on the bus modifications. I wonder if we can get some time off. If we do, then I should try talking to Ishmael. Also, um, yeah, I discovered very late, well, I guess very late, quote, quote, into this episode that, uh, I had the Xbox mic settings, so I apologize for that. I'm gonna do everything I can to fix it, but, uh, yeah, so that's unfortunate. We've been at it for about... Two days, perhaps. Two days of killing crabs. We were we were able to defeat a considerable number of trash crabs and collect enough scrap to fill a whole wagon and then some. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I think this will be enough for us to get started. Mm. Okay, so it's the next day. I've already lost their voices. <laughs> Look, there's like 20 characters on uh, that are like coming and going. Look, it's a lot of voices to keep track of. I'm sorry. <laughs> My vocal range, you know, it it can be some... Ooh, can we rest now? Listen, I can hear my shoulders creaking with every move. Rodion, can you stop that? It looks like you're flexing at them. Well, it'll take some time to modify the bus, so we'll at least have a few days to enjoy. So, this place doesn't exactly resemble a tourist attraction. 
The sinners were all busy stretching and chattering, relieved that the work was finally over. But I had a terrible feeling that this was probably not the end of our toil. Hmm? Enjoy what? <clears throat> Enjoy what? Eh, oh man. God dang it, I always default to Tifereth! Why do I always default to Tifereth? This is so dumb, bro! <laughs> uh, enjoy what? Oh, uh, that, that's a bit better. Yeah, okay, well, I guess I'm doing a, a cheerleader thing now. Huh? Uh, of course. I knew it. I said it was enough to get started. Which means... Which means we'll have to go collect more scrap, of course. How much more, to be exact? Um, about... Five times the amount you've collected so far? Mika, we're gonna have to work on the rear wheels too! I'm sorry, uh, seven times. Considering our current pro productivity rate, it seems we will not be provided with adequate rest. Perhaps reducing the time dedicated to sleep would be contributive to our collective effort. <laughs> Donna's such a drama queen. <laughs> This cannot be! We simply cannot! <laughs> Dawn looked as though she was about to collapse. A woeful look on her face. <sighs> Hang on a sec, though. <laughs> um, how does collecting these pieces of scrap even help modify the bus? Of course, if we were simply bolting these scraps onto the bus willy-nilly, it wouldn't amount to much. But using U-Corp Singularity to fuse the parts, we can make them work as though they were tailor-made for this bus. You Corp? I thought their deal was some kind of food packaging tech. You know, stuff that stops the contents inside from spoiling or changing in any way until you open the packaging. I used to eat a bunch of their canned food. Funny. Big Sis said the exact same thing. Some nests have more than one way of using their singularity, in case you didn't know. Volume of Hyungan Gunbonjadin took it some Kibanro, or Mabinji Hyungayo. A side Kiban took her in a Swiss Nida. You say son. If the working principle is the same, one can always utilize the Singularity's fundamentalists to patent a Singularity-based technology at A-Corp. U-Corp is not only known for its stasis preservation packaging, but also for its resonance tuning fork. Resonance tuning fork. Just like that. <laughs> Entwined. Fused with things. And eventually devour them all. As though they've never even existed. 
You smell... What's the problem? <laughs> Dante, you have to tell Virgilius immediately. Tell him that we have to collect the golden bows of other branches first. Eh, give me a moment, Ishmael. Are you okay? No, no. We're not ready. We're inexperienced. We, we don't know enough about the Great Lake, nor about the whale. I know. I'll help you out. I'll help you make Virgilius understand. We we shouldn't go there. Not yet. I'm telling you that place is. Yeah. It's definitely some kind of PTSD. Blimey, what's gotten into you, eh? What? Getting indigestion from the crab chowder or something? We all scraped through the same crab guts, but I'm totally fine. So what's got you throwing a fit? This ain't the first time we've gone in not knowing a nit about what we're doing. We've been dead enough times to get used to it. Dying your way through a mission isn't really something to be proud of, Heathcliff. If we were your average fixers, we would have been dead and gone on our very first mission. Our names scraped clean from whatever association's registry. You think me daft? I've had enough years toiling and brushing with death for the syndicates of the back streets to know that I've got but one life. But it's different now. Clockface is here to bring us back every time. Don't you think we've simply been lucky that Dante was able to bring us back intact? What's with the attitude? If an abnormality cracks my skull, turn the clock, and I'll let it crack my leg next time. We can keep crawling back till they're smashed up to pieces, no? Oh, so you think we've seen everything there is to see at this point. You know that's not true. Pretty sure you're just panicking. You don't actually know that, but okay. In the worst case scenario, Dante could turn the clock all day and not be able to bring us back. What if we encounter something we can never come back right from? Especially that monstrous whale. Ah, never mind. Oh, don't do that. Like I won't understand a thing. It narks me when you treat me like a stupid sod. Okay. You! Now, if you will allow me to inquire... It was perhaps because he was never the type to do such a thing. But the crowd immediately fell silent with Yi Song... When Yi Song suddenly, loudly, and uncharacteristically intruded upon their argument. Ah, 
Let us call to mind the various desires of ours that we so enthusiastically proclaimed on our journey here. It is true, there is still significant toil to be had. Yet, it can also be said we have accomplished a certain milestone. Perhaps a momentary respite is warranted. Dante, Isn't that true, Dante? Yi Song! This is the first time Yi Song appeared so dependable since we started our bus journey! I nodded emphatically. Yeah, I agree with you, Song. I think we can slow down for a bit and do some team building activities together. How's that sound? Sure, I think you guys can take some time off. I'll let you know once we're ready. <laughs> Excelsior! In that case! Beach volleyball! <laughs> Beach Volleyball. <laughs> oh, I can't get over that. It just sounds so funny. I say that we partake in a game of Beach Volleyball with Don's well-timed assist. The almost icy mood seemed to defrost slightly. Beach Volleyball. Taking Don's and Yi Song's advice to mend the growing rift between Ishmael and the other characters, I decided that we should all try out a few rounds of beach volleyball. Maybe this activity can be an opportunity to build some rapport. Also, people ship Ishmael and Heathcliff? Bro, they got negative chemistry. Are you kidding me? I have never witnessed it myself. <laughs> There was, and I speak with certainty, what hath appeared to be a ball of sorts amongst the standard trash. Twould be no puffery to say that tis true injustice to deny ourselves merriment with a ball, able bodies, and beat them all awaits us. Can we really call this a beach, though? Don, I told you, we're not here for a vacation. Oh my god, she <laughs> she's basically saying, wow, I appreciate it, but I don't care. <laughs> that I am well aware, dear Gregor. I appreciate thine advice, yet I simply do not have it within mine heart to deny such a proposal when an opportunity to bring us together presents itself. <laughs> Yeah, okay. At least hold back that big grin next time, why don't you? Yes, I am in agreement with Don. Upon reflection, I have no memory of engaging in such a sport with my fellows. I cannot say that I am particularly talented in games of the ball variety. <laughs> oh boy. But this appears to be a good time a good a time as any to experience it for once. <laughs> I say that so funny. So let us partake in this game of volleyed balls. <laughs> We're so not ready. This isn't the time to play ball games. We've been slacking too much as of late. Yeah, we were too lucky last time. 
Ishmael was staring to was starting to practically ooze all over with an ominous aura. It might be a good idea to divert her attention for a bit. Let's play Beach Volleyball. A wise decision! I shall retrieve El Ballon! Uh, that's... Oh boy. <laughs> this is so stupid. I, I, half of this team is not going to be good at this. This is a downtime activity designated by none other than our executive manager. Everyone, quit grimacing and accept it with gratitude. Okay, okay. I just hope I don't pull my back playing this game. Try to make a grunter sound. <laughs> I am aware of the rules and specifications of this game. Allow me to draw the arena. There were grumbling sinners, beaming sinners, rit reticent sinners. Their reactions were all varied, but everyone eventually moseyed out to an to an empty lot to play Beach Rider. I stretched, hoping that this activity would help break up the tense atmosphere. Some time later. <laughs> now, let us commence! The field was drawn over a squelchy mud flat. The worn ball rocketed into the air with Don's serve. Is this how the game is played? Man, what a what a good mood she's in. <laughs> with Yi Song's nice receive, it was starting to look like we had a proper game going. Yup, yup. <laughs> You're pretty good. Meaningless. Uh. All of this. Jeez. Otis, I think that serve would have killed me if I hadn't dodged it in time. Consider this a part of our training. <laughs> oh good, now we've got the sword out. Roshu, you're not supposed to hit the ball with your sword! Haha! <laughs> Forsooth! I have received thy ball! <laughs> We're wasting time we could be using to study the whales' as characteristics. <laughs> and we don't even have a compass to guide us through the Great Lake. Dang it. And that has still got to be alive somehow. For F's sake, woman! Heathcliff, unable to stand Ishmael's attitude any longer, kicked the ball with enough force that it might just burst. Huh. Eh? And the ball flew way over the mark and towards the boundary, separating us from the pristine beach we saw a few days ago. Did the ball just pop? It most certainly has. There appears to be a field of plasma invisible to our eyes. Field of plasma? Who put a <laughs> who put a field of plasma on a beach? A barrier of sorts, installed to separate the nest from the back streets, 
Along the borders of every nest are installations that serve the same function, though their specific methods may vary. Of course, there are always fences and whatnot to stop the backstreet residents from crawling into their precious nests. But with that technology, they could have simply made the ball disappear without a trace, instead of leaving the torn nest. Which gotta mean... <sighs> they want to enjoy watching clueless souls be ripped to pieces, I bet. Huh. Glad the rich folk are having so much fun with their lives. I have no comment to make regarding the device's particular purpose or its sadistic nature. It took a whole hour of my time to procure us the ball. <sighs> Brace yourselves. <clears throat> the sound of the ball popping attracted the trash crabs. We'll have a chat after this. I really thought that this could be the activity to dramatically bring us all together. It's on. It's all gone to heck. Why does this keep happening? Isn't it about time you got used to this manager, bud? Come on, let's take care of business. The beach volleyball plan completely backfired. Everyone has a scowl on their face as they fight off the trash crabs. I have to do something about this. Hey, Ishmael. Yes. Can we talk? Uh, at least for a bit. I called over to Ishmael once the battle was over. Right. I've never done anything like this before. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do, or what kind of result this conversation is going to yield, but... <sighs> I can't just sit here and watch. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. It looks to me that you've been preoccupied with something ever since we got here. You know, you're not really participating in group activities and mm, things like that. Isn't it obvious? There's something more important at hand, but they're all busy enjoying themselves playing this stupid game. Something more important. Is this about the Great Lake? Yes. That we, in our current state, shouldn't go there? No. Right. So, why... Do you think that we don't have a chance against whatever is there? I told you, we're not ready. We're going to need at least half a year to acclimate to the Great Lake and the things that are there. Yeah, 
적어도 자신의 몸을 지킬 정도면. Or we could try to gain more experience and have to overwhelm our disadvantages. And that goes the same for you, Dante. You need to be strong enough to at least take care of yourself. Ah, 관리자님의 단련이라면 제가 도울 수 있어요. 그리고 오티스 씨도 분명 관리자님을 돕는 것에는 협조하겠죠. Which I can help with. And Otis, I'm sure she can help your training too. 그럴 만한 상황이 온다면. If push comes to shove, yes. Wait, wait. Half a year, Ishmael? We just don't have that much time to spare. Hobby? Hobby? Do you think of Hobby? Do you think of Hobby? Now, what we're doing is more than Hobby. Really? Is that why we were playing beach volleyball? Because we don't have time to spare? And... I didn't say to play and play. Okay. I'm going to play to the other place and go to the other place. And... And... It's not like I'm saying we should just sit sit on our butts and do nothing for half a year. I'm saying that we should visit other destinations first before coming back here. 그건 불가능합니다. 모든 구획의 황금 가지를 파악한 것도 아닐뿐더러 비포 팀의 사전 답사가 준비된 것도 아니니까요. That is impossible. Not every location of golden bows in the nests has been identified, and the before team hasn't completed their preliminary surveys yet. Excuses. I've known for a while that you have had some fancy ultimate motive. I've known for a while that you've had some fancy ulterior motive. And what happened? This time, your thoughts were different. You will feel that you have to face your fears with a smile. And whatever that is, this is a mistake you won't ever forget. Perhaps. What a mess. 그러면 적어도 상세한 항해 계획과 전투 방향을. In that case, we should at least map a detailed sailing route and plan out a combat strategy. 저 듣자니까. Bradlin, on and on and on. Just when I thought our discussion was reaching a stalemate, he cliff butted in. What's your problem? Shut your gob! Think you're the only one struggling here? We've all died more times than we can count. Every single one of us. So I'm telling you that it'll work out again somehow. 그러니까 대우수 위에서는 그런 방법은 통하지 않는다고요. 관리자님이 수정당해도 끝이고 그것에게 우리가 먹혀서 더는 시간을 되돌리지 못할 수도 있다고요. And I'm telling you that the Great Lake is different. What if the manager drowns? What if that thing eats us and our bodies can't be recovered? 알아듣겠어요? 지금까지의 상식으로 움직이다간. Do you understand? This isn't anything like what we've been through so far. This could be the end of us. Then I won't have the chance to kill that murder. Okay, let's say you're right. If we go now, we're all gonna bite it, and I won't be able to get cat. I, I mean, get back up. 그래서 잠깐이라도 놀면 뭐가 좀 덧나냐? 그 망할 고래 새끼들이 더 세져? So what's wrong with faffing about for a little while? What are those whales working out or something? You're 
You've been mucking up the mood ever since we got here. So how about you use some bloody common sense to not bring everyone else down with you? That's rich coming from you, Heathcliff. What common sense do you have of the Great Lake? Have you ever even seen a whale? Since when were you such a know-it-all? I think this is the first time he's even mentioned his girlfriend, right? If I, am I wrong about that? Maybe I am. I don't know. What do you know about a sailor's life? <sighs> How would you? All day, you're whining about your girlfriend or something, dozing off in the bus or throwing a hissy fit once in a while. Quit it. It's kill or be killed by everything from the depths of the waters to the heights of the skies crawling and falling onto the deck. Innumerable natural disasters like acid typhoons, tuna tsunamis, cerebra storms, and a multitude of others, of other terrors of the lake I can't even recall the names of. And from the storms, high waves as tall as mountains. Following that, those mm, monsters that wash up on the deck. Look away for a moment and your mate, whom you've trusted with your life, is slain. Everyone and every thing goes mad and is transformed into something else entirely on that abominable lake. It's something that a pathetic, lovey dovey, tenderfoot like you. Won't ever understand. Not after dying a hundred deaths. I told you to quit it! Before anyone could even step in, Heathcliff swung wildly at Ishmael. <laughs> I mean, she had it coming. You don't know nothing about me, uh, like you. Fellows. The tussle was such a blitz that... Blit? Hmm, that sounded bad. That no one could even attempt to intervene. Yisong <laughs> almost looked pitiful as he stood there bewildered. For a moment... It appeared as though Heathcliff had the upper hand as his fist struck Ishmael right in her jaw. <laughs> Just as Ishmael appeared to throw a punch, she kicked Heathcliff's leg, throwing him to the ground. Ishmael, wait! In the blink of an eye, Ishmael took up her mace. She raises it high as though she could strike it down at any moment. Her arm trembles with uncontrollable fury. Yeah? What'll you do? Bash my head in? Like I did you before? Fine. Kill me. No matter. I'll be right as rain in a minute. I was a fool to think you'd be any different from me. <laughs> Everyone's the same after all. Ah. 
I wasn't sure what caused her sudden change of heart, but it was a relief of sorts, at least. She looked at Heathcliff with her eyes wide open and dropped the mace to the ground. I wished I would not have to again be witness to such belligerency amongst friends. Yet, such quarrels among fellows is but an eluctability, perhaps. Now that brings me back, watching them fight. We used to tussle just like they do now. I neglected to mention this to you since we have not had a dispute like this since our first mission. Oh, shut up, bro. If you want to cut... Oh, my God. Oh, oh, good old Faust always has a scapegoat ready. Oh, I'm not saying this is her fault, but... Oh, man. Oh, gosh darn, you didn't get it. Oh, whatever. Dude, I hate her so much. <laughs> but you could be held responsible in the future for management failure. Should a similar workplace conflict arise. What the heck was I supposed to do about this? Was what I wanted to say, but I managed to hold my metaphorical tongue. Thank you, Otis. Even if you are a boot kisser, at least you have my side. This is why people like Otis. <laughs> She's always on your side. How does a fault lie with the executive manager, Faust? It's those two fools who got into the senseless altercation. Preventing senseless altercations between co-workers is a job of a manager. You? S stop it, everyone! Indeed, such behavior ill fits the heroic nature of Limbus Company. Sinclair's hesitance, Don's attempts to diffuse, Faust's impassive voice, and Otis's increasingly rising voice in my defense. All that combined was starting to get incredibly irritating. Stop. Guys! Enough! I had no other recourse left at the at this moment. Ishmael? Heathcliff? <laughs> what? The two of you stop working together for a while. Distance yourselves. At least... At least until I can think of a way to deal with you two. Not like I enjoy looking at her mug. Okay. Thus, the mood fell into a pit as depressing as this mud flat. Okay, okay. Uh, we have an approximate quote now, so feel free to go collecting those scraps. <laughs> We spent the next few days collecting scraps with the rest of the sinners. That's cool. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? what is happening? Why is that one, like, big? Weird. Hey! Hang on, I actually, I kind of want to check that. Why was that one, like, really big? I have no idea. Uh, well, I, I, on the bright side, we almost have enough for Dawn. That'll be pretty cool. I don't know that we'll use her, at least not on camera, but still, it'll be pretty sweet. All right, what do we got next? This situation's bleaker than the color of this mud flat. But 
we have to keep collecting more scrap. We continue to collect scraps for a few more days. I decided to watch as the sinners got to work, wondering what I could do about Ishmael and Heathcliff. The days were uh, as suffocating for them as it was for me. Well, save for Otis, maybe. Oi, you there! Connecting those parts will cause an issue with the intake fan. What do we do then? That's like three separate wires. Amateurish. Allow me to demonstrate. This is nothing compared to what I had to do back in the day. Oh, boy. When I worked in the engineering corps, she literally... <laughs> she literally... Back in my day... Otis, who appeared to be rather knowledgeable in engineering, continued to support the Molar Boatworks bus modifications. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Imagine your boss coming into work and doing that. <laughs> oh my god, she's having such a good time. You know what? You you go. You 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 do your thing. Live your best life. After all, you did get turned into a book for a while. Miss Faust, do you by chance possess any documentation documentation of items that the sinners may be partial to, or have preferences for in their personal information forms? We do not keep records of such details. Oh, of course! Why would you care what your employees want to do? Oh, just like you do? Just like you do, Faust? Huh? You're always... Oh, you're always listening to, listening to what I say. Even though Dante is a total pushover. But still. Isong, as I have informed you repeatedly, it is the best policy as a sinner to leave the decisions to the managers. Hey, hey! I <laughs> There's nothing like booze and getting right sloshed to mend a broken friendship. What? Maybe you can try my secret weapon. No way. You mean the king, king trash crab brain wine that you've been talking about? Color me interested, actually. Mm. No, uh, no, I, I don't think I will. I shall inquire them myself. Thank you still. That it'll work. Yi Song was trying to come up with various ways to bring Heathcliff and Ishmael's feud to a close. Ha! <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't just dress up as Pierre and think we wouldn't notice? No, S-I-L-O would be preferable here. Yes. Perhaps doing so while they're still alive would be a way of pursuing a new direction in art, in the vein of an avant-garde spirit. My suggestion was not to inflict them further pain, simply a more appropriate method of engaging in the culinary arts. I'm sorry, but when's dinner? You've been having the same conversation for the last 30 minutes. 
죽어 배에서 크랩게들 울음소리가 나 Brain I'm dying here I can hear the trash crabs going at it in my belly 눈을 정신 차리셔야 합니다 Big sis, please get a hold of yourself it seemed that Ryoshu and Mersault were trying to come up with a way to make the trash crabs more palatable. Not that I had any taste buds or mouth, but it was starting to resemble actual food. At least in its presentation. Kiddos are going that way! A child! <laughs> I am not! Now, young Sinclair! El Golpe de Grecia! Gregor, I'll take its left leg! Most other thin. Yeah, most other. Most other thinners. Most other. Oh, most other sinners were busying themselves with hunting trash crabs and collecting scrap. They say that practice makes perfect, and everyone was already performing rather well-coordinated attacks, even without my input. As for Heathcliff... Wow, Gregor-씨, you want to show a Whoa, Gregor, are you showing off your rotisserie skills? Insipid, your flames lack flair. Wait, he's just cremating it. It has been extracted. However, this can no longer serve its function as a proper source of nutrients. Apparently, Don likes burnt food. Hey, some people do. G give it hither! I have consumed not but three legs so far! Heathcliff. Heathcliff? Ah! Oi! That's, uh. Kiljabi. Queen Gunnirang, Dendamogosu. The, uh, guide and I. Out of chat, I'm okay now. Was it really just a chat? I mean, people talk to freaking Virgilius and just immediately. <laughs> just, just drop it. I, I won't trouble you lot. No more. That's all. So, uh, spare me some nosh. I don't know if Virgilius really had just a talk with Heathcliff, but I'm glad that, unlike most other times, he was here to at least get Heathcliff to calm down. But Ishmael... Dante. A moment, Dante. Ha, <laughs> well, as one-sided as this chat is going to be. You didn't even bother saying anything. As I'm sure you've already been told in brief. I conducted a little meeting with the two problem individuals. You will see that the discipline has proven effective with Heathcliff. Well, Ishmael's case hasn't quite been resolved. Or, to be more precise, 
There is no reason to resolve it. What are you talking about? You must be asking what I'm talking about. I hope you aren't expecting me to kindly explain everything to you. You will realize it on your own soon enough. After all, this babysitting and fostering nonsense is not a part of my work, Manager Dante. I know you're putting in extra work, and I appreciate it. I'd like it if I didn't have to intervene anymore. You may consider the talk I voluntarily had with the two a small favor from me for your decent performance recently. Now, I have remaining business with the fixers of Molar Office. Like that, Ishmael was left alone, with little progress to speak of. According to the people from the boat work, she apparently snuck out alone late at night to make various preparations. Even when I visited her, when found her hanging about and called over to her. She didn't respond to me at all. She wasn't ignoring me, rather she seemed she seemed too deeply fixated on what she was doing. What should I do about her? You know, what was I supposed to do then? Well, a clear answer still eluded me. Mephisto <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Mephistolis was entering its final stages. More bits. Oh, we don't have a dungeon, really. The last scrap. Nothing, <laughs> nothing's been resolved, but Mephistolis's modifications are almost complete. Mika grimly requested that everyone gather to watch the test drive. I'm glad that the modifications are finally complete, but can we really press on in this state? All the sinners, save for Ishmael, gather to behold the finished product. <laughs> Oh, do I behold with mine eyes the transformed bus? We'll call it a bust. Would one call this a bus boat or a boat bus? I think I'll go with bus boat. Where did the wheels go? We'll need them again once we're done with U-Corp's district. Oh. A needless concern. Of course it has been modified to be amphibious, with both a boat form and a bus form. What is this, some kind of magic school bus? The myriad of possibilities Mephistolis holds means it has always been capable of various functions. Hasn't Faust expounded upon this detail once? 
Now, now, that's enough of that. Let's start it up. As Mika fiddled with its controls, the bus, uh, I mean, the boat, I mean, the bus boat, shuddered awake. Huh? And sputtered off with odd screeching, with the odd screeching noise we heard earlier. Uh, I think we're missing something. Maybe it's the form transmogifier that's messing up. Yeah, I thought my eardrums were going to burst. What could possibly be causing that noise? Mika, I think it's a wood part where we had to make do with what we had. What was that? Did you just say make do? We didn't have a choice. There weren't enough parts in stock. There's just one thing that was supposed to be irreplaceable, but the problem is... This wasn't the sound of its engine, was it? By the way, sorry I'm clearing my throat. I'm trying not to. Uh, I'm leaning away when I do, but... Blah. It's the gigantic mutant we've encountered before. It's headed this way. It is likely drawn here by the same clamor as a four. <laughs> That's good news. That big boy has the exact part we're missing on its back, don't it? It it does, I guess. Big sis, are you really? Uh, I am, really. It's that one expensive and tricky to manufacture part, isn't it? Don't you remember the way it killed the employees of other boat workshops? Oh, Oh, that's because it crashed into us, not because we were hunting the- uh, for parts. But now, I have these lads and lassies to help us. Besides, it killed the people that helped us start the Muller work- Boat, oh, I wanted to say workshop. Boat works from our bum days, didn't it? <laughs> Looks like this is just the time to give it a right smashing down its noggin. And <laughs> make me some more wine out of its brain juice, too. Big sis? Can we get some, too? Uriya? What do you mean, we? This King Trash Crab is supposed to be a few years old, so it has to be the same one from earlier. Anyway, all we need to do is catch and kill that, in it? Right on! You heard her, clock face. Heathcliff turned to me, visibly eager to go up and crush some shells. Let's not. Isn't it better for us? Ishmael! Gee, Ishi, where have you been all this time? I was making preparations for our survival on the Great Lake, obviously. 
고래에 대한 가이드라도 빼곡하게 만들어 둬야 최소한의 공부라도 하지 않겠나요? The least I can do is make an exhaustive guide on whales you can study up on, right? <laughs> you know I don't read that kind of stuff. And I'll keep reminding you until you have no choice but to read it. See, manager, we still need more time. There's so much more to prepare. So King Creep can and Tutan is in Nungozano. Crum Crocade to go, Boss the Kedon and Tumda Tiro Mirojo. Crocade Shigan and Tolmion. A King Trash Crab can be repelled, can it? Then let's do that and finish modifying the bus later. With more time on our hands. Yeah, you weren't here, but uh, we need the part that's on him. Ishmael, I'm not sure. My lack of memory doesn't help, of course, but. I don't get what you're so scared of, or what we're supposed to be preparing for. As much as I want to respect your opinions and reflect them, I don't think this is the best for all of us, so... There is no all of us. Huh? Let's be honest here. Is any one of us devoting themselves for the sake of this all of us? We all signed a contract with Limbus Company for our own goals. I did. Yi Song did, as we saw last time, and all the other sinners did. Aren't we only in this together to achieve our personal aims? But, in your own sentence, we're still in this together. And you, too. You're forcing yourself to look for those golden bows. Things you've probably never heard of once in your life. Just so you can get your memories back. You have a more selfish motive than anyone else here. So why do you pretend like you're doing anything for all of us? Hey, it's Otis. <laughs> Every, dude, I gotta tell you, Otis is just always... Hey, she's the backbone of the group. How dare you raise your voice against... Come on. Enough. <laughs> Virgilius, who seemed to have been discreetly listening in on our conversation, joined as though he'd been a part of it from the start. Ishmael, I believe I made myself clear during our meeting. <laughs> The contract comes first. <laughs> the contract, huh? Sure. This is the company I'm working for. Of course it does. Ishmael glared at me with a face unlike anything she's shown before. It's not my fault. I sensed... Clear hostility in her eyes. Why am I the one getting blamed for it? <laughs> Blame Faust! She's the one who dragged everyone together, including me! Fine. I'll abide by your oh-so-honorable contract. Manager, give me your orders and I'll follow them. So, if there's anything you want from me from now on, state it. Clearly. I won't get out of line by providing unsolicited help or explanations anymore. 
저 집채만 하게 큰놈 죽이러 가자는 명령 아니었네 명령해 주시는 대로 계약에 따라 기꺼이 따르죠 관리자 단템님 You're being a kid <laughs> What are we waiting for? Weren't you gonna order us to go kill that giant crustacean? I'll gladly obey as it's stipulated in the contract Manager Dante after Ishmael finished speaking, she blankly stared at me, as if awaiting my order. To which I could only reply with, Let's go. As soon as I finished, Ishmael turned around and left the shop, as if on cue. All I could do was lead the other sinners and follow her. Ooh. Just then. I heard vicious sounds of crashing waves and roars of an all-crushing storm. Visions of destruction passed before me. Limbs and bits of flesh tear off in the shredding storm that brings crashing waves. Ishmael clings to the ship for dear life. And a behemoth of an eye. Its overwhelming and all-consuming size looming over the ship watches her in silence. Perhaps this could be a clue to Ishmael's perplexing behavior. Crabs! Who's this guy? Cannoneer Crab. Foaming. Okay. Uh... Don't know any of his passives. Apparently, you're new. You don't seem new, but I'll take your word for it. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Oh! Oh! I see. We actually have to aim our attacks. Okay, well, let's see. Attack power up. It does have an attack weight of two. Let's see. I'm going to gain some aggro. Mm. Hmm. Okay, we can clash with that, so let's give that a try. Uh, guaranteed blood power will be next. Let's see, is anyone going for you? This is. Okay. Okay, let's gain some Tremor. Okay, we're not going to be able to stop that. Let's do Ishmael here because she's the only one who can clash against it. Uh, and then let's inflict some Tremor on the Cannoneer Crab. Oh, that's an unfortunate start. Although it did work out. Ouch. Okay, barely any damage because we're doing slash. That's fine. Okay, good. Stagger. A little bit of crit. Okay, we gain the extra power because the next attack is going to be blunt. Ooh, still rolled very low, though. Gain a little bit of self-tremor. Flick some on the crab. Let's see, they're going for each other to make use of that passive. Let's go double blue. Favor here. This should become a multi-hit. Um, hmm. Let's try or let's try lust. Then we didn't take any damage, so try and finish him off. Inflict some tremor here. Go for a shove. And then let's do a big hit on Cannoneer Crab. Now, we do also have multiple rounds, so we're going to have to be a little bit more efficient. Okay, Counter Dice doing a little bit of damage to us. We're going to get a multi-hit. Big damage. They also are debuff next turn. We won a couple flashes, so we get a little bit of SP. So we have a higher chance to roll heads. Not that we did. Ugh! Crab down. Okay, that extra attack power up coming in very handy, especially because we're not rolling heads. A little bit of paralysis, not going to get any use out of it. Ah, if we had rolled heads, that would have been much better. Okay, let's think. Let's go double lust. So let's go lust into lust. 
Then I want to kill you, and I also want to finish you off. Then let's gain some attack power up. That should be enough to kill. Then we can finish you off, no problem. Okay, working out nicely. Okay, boost it up because we were going for a blunt next attack. More tremor for us. Gain some attack for next turn. And we should have taken them all out. Two more waves to go. We're only on turn four, so we're actually doing very good, considering we haven't used any ego yet either. So, I'm going to go for a big boy attack on the artillery crab. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go for the artillery crab. Then, let's gain some attack power right... Yeah, right here. Um, gain some... Ah, just try and go for a clash. Then we can go for a triple green. Okay, yeah. Let's go triple green. Just do damage right here. Do damage right here. And then more damage right here. That should be fine. Ah! Uh! Okay, big damage. Give it to me. Okay, attack power up next turn. And if anybody ki gets a kill from this point on, we are going to get a little bit of extra strength. Bop, bop. No crit. Ouch. Okay. Next attack is blunt, so we are empowered once again. That's something really nice about this team. We're almost guaranteed to have a blunt attack in the next turn. So, let's do... This is basically a guaranteed kill. This should kill, no problem. That'll give us a bunch of tremor. Then I want to try and kill. Then we just go for big old crabby boy. Oh, two health. Uh. Boom! 42 damage. Yep. Oh my god, not a single heads roll, really? Very unfortunate. Okay, paralysis. You're not doing much damage because of that, even with our pierced fragility. Uh, well, that worked out. A little bit of fragile. Boosh! That worked out super nice. Okay, so we're really going to have to push our advantage next turn. So, you were dead. Then we just go all in right here, take him out, and next turn we spam all of our egos that we've been holding on to and trying to build up. Huh! Boosh! Okay. Oh. oh, now we get a crit! <laughs> oh dear. Emergency nutrient supply. At the end of the turn, if this character is healed 15% or more of his max health or more, the body is restored. Huh? Uh, indiscriminate. Deal 20% damage per 5 rupture on target. Uh -huh. Inflict 4 rupture. Wow, you have a lot of AoE attacks. Okay. Uh, good to know. Well, like I said, this is a time to spam our stuff. Unfortunately, we really don't have many good options for what to spam, so let's think this through. Um, let's do dominating here. Okay, double lust. Dominating. Let's see, you're going to hit all three of the regular crabs. That is not bad. Unopposed. You know what? I say just go for it anyway. Then... Uh, yeah, we really got to deal with that shield. 
And then let's inflict some more tremor on him. Okay, that's gonna deal a lot of damage to us. Luckily, we are gonna heal back from it because of Don. Uh oh. Okay, painful. We are ineffective though. What is cast? Hi. Okay, ineffective to slash. We kind of expected that, but we needed to win the clash. Oh, did not hit the heads roll. Very unfortunate, but we are going to be debuffing all of them, and it does quite a bit of AoE damage. Okay, heads roll is going to be a uh, debuff next turn for him. Okay. I mean, not terrible. Okay, let's see. Um, I think... Let's get some health back, shall we? Then, let's inflict some bind so that we can guarantee clash next turn. Let's restore a little bit of health. Okay. So, let's debuff you. Then, I want to do a little bit of damage to the trash crabs. See, we're guaranteed to do blunt damage so let's do just that go for the weak part and then try and kill one of the crabs okay flick some bind Hiya! 13 damage it is slash we mainly wanted the bind just for the aoe attacks next turn they're going to heal off each other. But we are going to heal off them. Bah. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, we did way more damage than he ended up healing it back. So that was really, really good. A little bit of paralysis. Good amount of damage. This... Oh, we didn't hit heads. And we still did 45 damage, but... Mm. Okay, one crab down, only big crab and you left to go. So he is going for double mass attack, so it's a good thing we tried to prepare ourselves for that. Okay. Ah, oh, but you're not gonna... Mm. Okay. <sighs> Neutral to both, really. Neutral? Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna have to fight all these neutral. Actually, we still have a decent amount of health left. Let's go dominating here. I feel good about our chances here. And then we could just take him out, no problem. Okay, we didn't crit, but we do still get a little bit of tremor and rupture. A little bit of paralysis will actually help us out quite a bit. What is cast? Hi. Hey, 24 damage, even with ineffective. That's not bad. Okay, tremor burst helping us out. We take out mini crab. Okay, so you're going for. Okay, that should be no problem. You're also going for Dawn. Uh, and you are going for... Okay. So, let's go boom. Boom. Boom and boom. And that should be enough to finish him off. If it's not, we're going to have to redo the fight. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty. Plenty! Thanks for the parts. According to Virgilius, the people at the boat works have been saving up for a trip back to V Corp's back streets where their fixer office used to be. After experiencing a warp train malfunction, they apparently decided that they'd rather take the car. I consider telling them the truth I learned from a number of identities, but 
I figured ignorance is bliss and kept my figurative mouth shut. Maybe I feared that the things I said could bring bad results again. Like how Ishmael has fallen out with me. Come on, get working. We've got him now. Looks like our job's done. Lucky you, the tide is in. You should be able to set up now. Now then, switch to boat mode. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it transforms thusly then. Oh god, you do not need to inflate her ego even more. I've got to say, I have great admiration for whoever designed this vehicle. I heard stories of it, but to see it in motion firsthand. If you tried, it could most certainly change into other forms, as long as the core is intact. How can such a core be real? I'm just amazed, for lack of a better term. <sighs> Indeed, Faust is amazing. Alright, now get in your vehicle. You can switch the mode again once you're in the water. Aboard the. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I thought we were sitting on top. <laughs> Abo abroad, aboard, whatever. The now boat shaped Mephistilis, we forged ahead into the ever rising waters. My relationship with Ishmael was still precarious, which was something I still wasn't sure what to do about. But since some of the sinners were also trying to be supportive towards Ishmael, I decided that it would be best if I tried to come up with a solution in the meantime. Maybe I'll find out more the further we get from the shores of the Great Lake. Mm, it's sailing, all right. <laughs> Does that mean they could go out and get paid for a meal now? We actually got our money a minute ago. As soon as we fulfilled our end of the contract, a delivery fixer from the Debyat Association came by and paid us the remainder. Oh, our contractor turned out to be a pretty big deal, huh? Hot dang, now that's a catch! How about we take a break from trash crabs and splurge for some pork? Pork belly barbecue! Sounds good, big sis! <laughs> By the way, Mika? Yes? <laughs> oh boy. When did we add a submersible mode to the mod modifications? We didn't? The ship looks like it's listing. Or get out of the water quick! Buckets! Where are the buckets? I have found a hole. This must be... We're off. Glub glub. I'll get the lifeboat. Oh, guess we should also prepare to pony up penalty fees. <laughs> <laughs> the little giggle. <laughs> We're so screwed.
been. With our frantic attempts to drain the bus and Sharon's skillful rowing, we managed to get back to the boat works and have the bus repaired. With that, our voyage on the Great Lake began somehow in earnest. And with that... <laughs> Are you done? Thanks. Ahem. <clears throat> and with that, we can now begin Canto 5. The Evil Defining. But... I believe that's going to do it for this episode of the Limbus Company. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this side episode. Uh, surprise that there was no dungeon, considering the chicken one had one. But hey, I'm not complaining because this episode is already stupid long. Because I promised that I would do the entire chapter in one go. So, there's that. But, hey, got a lot done. Uh, got a lot of lunacy and we also actually got a lot of those uh, sword hilts for the event so I there was um there was a question I had in mind and I was thinking about it but I'm like ah mm, I don't know so I was thinking uh let me see if I can find it ah this right obviously this is like Ishmael's truest self i guess you could say so i was kind of thinking what if this is a theoretical i'm not sure that i would actually do this what if like for example after we complete everyone's story if they have an identity that is super fitting to them for example let's do g corp gregor right Obviously, his entire storyline is based on the G Corp smoke war, right? So, we use G Corp Gregor, and then we complete this chapter, and obviously, Ishmael, you know, it's all about uh, the boat. So, we either use the Boatworks Fixer or the, uh, the Pirate Captain one, and, like, we do like that, where they each unlock their truest self, or, like, even Yi Song being... Uh, you know, the ego spice bush, right? I was like thinking about it, but at the same time, it wouldn't work for every character because not every character has something that's super, super fitting to them. But eh, it's a fun thing to think about, if nothing else. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And in the next one, we are going to be beginning Canto 5. Also, we do have multiple identities that we can still use. For example, Ishmael can go to um, the fairy one whenever we decide. Uh, whenever we decide that we're tired of being OP, we can always use Lobotomy Corp Remnant as well as the base center form. So we have a lot of options, um, which is nice. And most of the options aren't too terribly OP. Um, even though technically we're breaking the original rule of using multiple three-star characters. I mean, we haven't been using Yi Song. He's just on the side. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to say that we're probably fine. But, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.